Remember, kids, if you're going to be sacrificed to ancient Egyptians who live inside a pyramid who follow a dead mummy, um, make sure that you're sacrificed properly. You have to have a high priest there. You have to have the Book of the Dead. And, you know, have the urge to tell them that you want to die that way. Oh, well, minus Fox, man. So, they can't have Fox. And, um... God dang it. Uh, kind of sucks that I had to wait a couple minutes before I could review this, so I couldn't get my full just emotion out of that. But, um, this is The Living Mummies of Tomun Ra, I believe it is. Where Launchpad apparently crashed the plane. Which, FYI, which, um, what was it? I was looking at... I want. I was looking at some art... Some DuckTales art, and I re read some of the things that are saying that these episodes are actually all out of order, and the whole point was Disney, for some reason, wanted to do it. Like, there's an episode of Snow One that we were actually supposed to see earlier, and but they were saving it for Christmas because Snow. But, um, that makes a lot of sense for the, such a real of a lack of Scrooge for those two Lena episodes, because it was supposed to be spaced out between with Scrooge and everyone else. But, um, even so, I still love this show. It's so goddamn fun. Um, but basically, they, they end up, they find themselves in a pyramid where, they find themselves in a pyramid, which then, they get split up. Um, Webby and Louie being sent into this pharaoh's tomb, while everyone else, Scrooge, Launchpad, Huey and Dewey land in um, a, a little village inside this pyramid, which you think archaeologists would have found. Um, find themselves inside a village inside this pyramid where there are people dressed up in mummy garbs and answer to, What's up? And I was like, No, they shouldn't know what what's up means. But, um, but basically, these people have lived there for centuries and have followed the. the God of Ra, Tomun Ra, who bring, who showers that, who brings a golden sh a roar of golden shower down onto them, and I'm just thinking, oh God, a guy's probably right. I need to get my mind out of the goddamn gutter. <laughs> don't Google golden shower. I'm warning you, don't. I haven't, but I know what it is, and I don't want to look it up. But in any case, and if you're into that stuff, good on you. You do you, bud. You do you. Or gal. But in any case. Um, but in any case, um, basically these people live on bare minimum where they sell each other sand and they create cruddy little corn crops. As well, and like, it's really bad. And basically Screw says, we gotta go get Webby and Louie. But they say, no, it's forbidden. So Scrooge has to then convince them all to join together to have a revolution against the sun god. Because the sun god, when he when they feed the sun god corn, the giant mummy or whatever comes up out of the tomb and opens his arms. And like the back, there's like a window that opens up and shines light down. Um, Basically, that happening. Uh, the demon... The, but of but actually the mummy's actually is dead and it's actually all being operated by this one guard that's in this temple whose family's been doing this for years and it's only that one guard left so is he gonna like and they're like what are you ladies get up here <laughs> but um in any case uh so but uh Webby and Louis find this out as they explore the inside cavern Louis stealing all this golden stuff and. Basically, they find this out that it's a whole Wizard of Oz thing, saying, yeah, nope, that's not going to work with us. Um, basically, throw, kicks him into a... Kicks him to the curb. Scrooge isn't able to rally the troops until Launchpad comes in with a burrito. Basically saying, you guys want a burrito? You guys have to, you know, become free. And they're like, yeah, we have to be free. And there's at least kind of a montage of training a little bit. They finally do bust in and everything. To fight the Munra, but it turns out I'm gonna say keep saying Munra because that's so much easier. Um, which Munra, if I remember correctly, was the bad guy in uh, Mommy's Alive. No, Munra is Thundercats. Munra is Thundercats. Mummy's alive though. Mummy's alive. Yes. 
But in any case, um, but uh, basically they they find this out that the guard's doing this stuff. They throw the guard into a sarcophagus that's way too small for him. But then it turns out the mummy is actually alive after he passes over a certain point. He comes to life, starts terrorizing the place. Um, Louis trains on the mummies, goes, All right, guys, just like we heard hers. Ding, 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 ding. And I was like, yeah, You had to sneak in that thriller. You had to sneak in that thriller, didn't you? Fuck you for sneaking in the thriller. <laughs> Uh, mind you, that was a joke that I'm like, I was like, okay, that's, that's charmingly dumb. That's charmingly, that's charmingly dumb. And then, of course, they get the crap scared out of them, and they, of course, it doesn't work. But that is, you know, I was just like, oh, God, that's a facepalm moment. But in a way, it's just like, yeah, I'm facepalming, but get on you. Get on you for making me... Get on you for that dumb, funny joke. And this mummy is pretty epic. He's super huge. He's beating the crap out of people. At one point, he's chasing Louis down. Louis has, like, a bunch of gold. And I'm thinking, okay, he's chasing him because he has his gold. But no, he actually just wants to... But no, it basically... Louis gets cornered and goes, All right, you know what? You know what? Fine. You know what? Here. Here's the sickle. I am at your mercy. Merciful, merciful, oh Torah, what do you want me to do? And the mummy looks at him, and I'm thinking like, okay, they're probably going to pull a hole and make him a servant kind of thing. No, the mummy goes, the mummy goes, what do you want me to do? And she just goes, die. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, it's just scary. <laughs> I'm just like, just die. I'm like, oh, I thought it was going to take a silly turn, but no, you're going to murder him. And then it takes a silly turn as the mummy's then wrapped up in burrito, brought back over the seal or whatever, and put back to rest. And then everyone, everyone, every, all the mummy people escape with Scrooge and everyone, and they go all eat burritos, but Launchpad is out of money. So Scrooge goes, here, I'll, here, I'll pay for it, Launchpad. Launchpad says, oh, thanks, Mr. D. <laughs> or thanks, Mr. Well, it's Scrooge, so it's D, yeah. Um, or D Duck, Scrooge McDuck. Like, Thanks, Mr. D. Hands his credit card, and the guy goes, that'll be $9,000. Like, my, my money! <laughs> I just, I just love that bit, because it shows, like, Scrooge, like, Scrooge seemed like he was going to be frivolous with his money, and then that last bit is like, no! Because he doesn't really seem all that frivolous with his money at times, which, honestly, I kind of do like that. That isn't, like, hit. His entire personality is that he's rich and he doesn't want to spend his money. No, he does spend his money on certain things, but even when he, he realizes when stuff seems still a little bit too frivolous. But, um, and basically all the people are, uh, people don't live in the mummies too many more. Uh, let's see. I skipped over a lot, but, uh, golden reward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if these are their mummies, I'd hate to see their daddies. <laughs> Long time for your stupid goddamn joke. Uh, also, there's a lot of things where Webby says how she should properly die. Like, at one point, Louie gets sucked into the quicksand and pulls out, and Webby goes, that's why you're not supposed to open your mouth when you're in quicksand. And Louie just goes, I don't want to know how to properly die. <laughs> and the same thing happened with, um, with, uh, when they're held over spikes when the guard catches them the first time, which they get caught because... Louis says, if you can talk, you can, if you can talk, you can talk your way out of everything. And honestly, you know what? I somewhat agree with that. But on the flip side of that, he goes, you see, you see, guard, I am Louis, Louis Ra. I am the Pharaoh of Pharaohs. And of course, the guard grabs him, holds him over a spike and goes, no one is higher than the Pharaoh. And I'm just thinking, you know, I'm not going to say anything about, I'm just going to say this on a sense of, Story-wise, or, you know, if you're religious, sure. Um, with the Bible, usually whenever someone says they're the blank of blank above something, whether it be the king of kings, or in this case, the pharaoh of pharaohs, usually someone dies. Oh, uh, what is it? Moses. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. Did Moses say that? Well, they say it was the prophet or something like that. I forgot how exactly what Moses' one was. They, they'd be, like, I guess, God's prophet. A lot of babies died. Jesus he, the king of kings is going to be born. 
A lot of babies died. Just saying, um, Romans and, or was it Greek? Yeah, Romans and Egyptians usually don't like it when you call yourself the king of kings or some kind of higher authority than they are. Just saying. At least, in, you know, that stuff. And I'm pretty sure a couple other things. Uh, I'm pretty sure in a lot of hierarchies, you say you're higher than them. They're not going to like it. Um, especially the ancient ones. But, um, but yeah, uh, so, <laughs> screw, so yeah, basically, there's that, there's that bit of, oh yeah, Webby, basically they're hung over the spikes, and Webby basically says all the ways that she should probably be sacrificed, they should probably be sacrificed, having a book of the dead, um, which is like, oh, which I found out is actually like a tome, or like a slate of spells to use when you're dead, um, to get yourself through the afterlife, I did not know that, and it's kind of awesome, um, and there should be a priest there and all this stuff. At one point, uh, Launchpad gets knocked out and the mummies get scared. And Scrooge tries to act dumb like Launchpad. Like, uh, fight for the, the, the nachos! <laughs> Some guy that that was funny. Um, kind of a dumb but smart joke when um, Louis finds out that the mummy guy is controlling the giant pyramid. Giant, the pharaoh with, like, puppets and Cecily... It's a scheme. It goes, how long you can run this pyramid scheme? I'm like, ha, ah, that's just, god dang. Dumbest rebellion. <laughs> it's, apparently this is the dumbest rebellion Scrooge's ever fought in, but also shows that he has fought in rebellions before. Menacing Mummy says die. I guess Scrooge is paying for all this. Yep, yep. Uh, we're going to die here. Also, man, we, why we always wanted to die by spikes, which is extremely morbid. <laughs> uh but, uh, yeah, this episode is pretty goddamn fun. I freaking love this, and it sucks that now, basically, I have... Now I, feel, I wonder if I should have spaced these out a little bit more, but basically now I gotta wait for... Well, actually, no, now that I think about it, the next... The next episode of DuckTales 2017, I think, is actually... Hold on a second. Oh, December 2nd! Sweet! Well, that means it's only, like, in, like, what, a week? Because it's the 29th, but then when you guys watch this, it's going to be the 30th, which I think 30th is the end of November. So then that's only, in, that's like in three days. Holy crap, that's awesome. I picked the right time to end this. Holy crap, that's freaking epic. I got to remember that. Fudge. Um, but in any case, crap, I need to see when the next Star vs. episode comes out then too. But in any case, thank you also for watching. You sure it is that I've done. Leaks are on my face, scripture ones are on there somewhere. This is awesome. Can't wait for more. Thanks for watching for videos. And just can't wait to watch more of the show. I freaking love it. I want the story to more develop. I hope it's not only eight episodes. Because the episode list only goes up to eight. And I'm just like, is that just for like this half of the season? I guess. I hope they're not still like testing it out. And then if it's good, then they're going to continue making more. I hope there are more episodes slated for later. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you want to watch more videos, I don't think so. around there somewhere. And we will. See you later. I this is the dumbest video I've ever been a part of. What the heck am I supposed to do now? Also, this terrible accent.